Bible says that, 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 that an enemy from hell was sent to buffet the same Paul. He was Saul now and his name was converted to Paul. And this particular enemy that was sent to Paul buffeted him. And the Bible says he prayed to the Lord. And the Lord said to him, my grace. Why would God allow an enemy to buffer Saul in the flesh? Because he's bringing balance to Paul. He prayed about it. But God graced him about it. Could I pray over you today and ask the Lord to send the grace to stand in the midst of persecution. You need the grace in order for you to make it to the next dimension in your life. David was grace. That's why he was able to stand before the Goliath and win. But it did not stop David from having battles. It was only the beginning of David's battle for Israel. Raise your hands in the room and ask the Lord to give you the grace to stand, to withstand the persecutions of the persecutors. Why do you think the Lord says we need long suffering? If you did not have long suffering, you would have quit a long time. How many of you would have thrown in the towel because you did not realize that Christianity was so much work? Being a kingdom citizen was so much work. But if you understand how the kingdom operates, the kingdom will turn enemies into friends. He will turn people that were against you for you. It's all about your perspective and how you interpret what the scriptures are saying. If you don't believe me, he says to the disciple, he says, if you live by the sword, you're going to die. Put down the knives. Put down the swords and pick up the spiritual one. It's going to teach you how to live in the earth. Keep in mind, there are some people that the Lord will move out of your life because they want you dead. And they will not stop until you die. But there are some people who were assigned, write this down, who were assigned by God to be in your life. Who is not going to bring you roses and petals. There are some enemies who are anointed for you. It means that no prayer you pray will stop them because they are on an assignment. Their assignment is to take out of you what is dwelling deep down in the inside. Their assignment is to pull up out of you all the things that God has already placed in you. Write this down. No matter how much you pray, they will not move until you have accomplished what God has inside of you. You could go to Mama Oto, you could go into Pim, you could go in Africa, Jamaica, and Haiti. They ain't going nowhere. I learned this lesson a long time ago. Praying about an individual. Praying and praying. And I said, God, they just don't want to die. They just don't want to go away. And the Lord said to me, I, I remember praying. I said, God, just kill, just, just do it for me just once. If you do anything, just move this one person. And the Lord said to me, son, that person will not be moved because they are bringing out the greater in your assignment. If I move them, watch this, your assignment will die. Do you see how serious this thing is? If I move the person that is tormenting you, your assignment 
will die. It's just like removing compost from a plant. Compost is not good stuff. Not to the living. It's rotten things. But for some reason, compost gives nutrients to that which is living. Write this down. God has to allow some dead things to remain in your life in order for you to live. Am I making any sense? Everything ain't gonna go away because you want it to go away. Some things have to remain in its place so that you can grow above it. You cannot stop people from talking. You cannot stop people from judging. You cannot stop people from ridiculing you. You can't. Because that's a part of the process of delivering you and making you a great person in the earth. This is where your purpose has come from. Are you understanding me? Saul had to be blinded. Something had to become dead in order for something to live. He had to lose his sight. He had to lose mobility. And others had to carry him and direct him. And he's laying in a house. Almost defenseless. The Lord has spoken to him. And the Lord has spoken to Ananias. Can I prophesy to you? To tell you that you are the Ananias of your time. Some of you sitting right in this room. God's about to send you to that same person. Or persons. Because some of y'all you are you're so up there. Y'all get persons. He's about to send you to those persons. And you are about to open their eyes. When you open their eyes, could I prophesy? They will no longer be the salts in your life. But they will be the pawns in your life. It means that they're going to give you what you need. They're going to bring to you every single thing that you need for your next journey. Are you hearing me? When the Lord gave me this message, He said to me, I'm going to send you to your soul. Now watch this. Write this down. The level of what you're going to receive is based on the level of the soul that's in your life. So when I had all these, I said, God, I just thank you. So when I had all these big people up there, yo, I can't call no names, I get in trouble. When I have all these big people fighting against me, the Lord made me to understand, he said, these are your souls. But I'm going to convert them. And they are going to open the door. Watch this, let me show you how deep this is. The Lord made me to understand that one of them are going to help me to pay off my mortgage. Can God do it? Am I y'all joking up in here? When God grace me and give me this, may what God do for me, may God do it for you. Somebody open your mouth and receive it. If God pay off my mortgage, he'll pay off your mortgage. He will give you what you need, when you need it, and how you need it. Say, Lord, I receive it. I don't have to go and get my hands dirty. I don't have to go and get my hands filthy. Because I am a child of God, God makes everything in its place. I have proven this and many of you can attest how many times God has blessed me because I remain in position. I did not move because of the noise in the market. I continue to thread my course. 
now God has brought me to this place where my souls are about to be converted everyone that spoke negative about my family is about to be converted if you don't believe me my family was the black sheep and now we are called the righteous sheep now they are coming to us and asking us to pray and asking us to deliver can God do it Ananias is sent but he's fearful because he sees and he knows what Saul did God are you going to send me for this man to kill me can I tell you something today God has already defused your enemy he has already depowered them so all you gotta do is show up and do what God tells you to do now a lot of y'all ain't like me I don't care if God defused them or not I go in any hour. Whether they strong and mighty. They always say little people have a lot of mount. I don't care. I go up to the greatest man. It don't matter to me. Because at the end of the day, when you know who you are and whose you are, you have nothing to prove to anybody. Today, may God shift in the realms of the spirit your souls into Paul's today we pray in the name of Jesus that no matter what they have said or done that God is shifting and moving their words and their words are about to become their service God's about to turn those that persecute you into your servant he is about to cause them to bring unto you that what you need in your next season the Lord is about to spread the table in the presence of your enemies say Lord do it I can see the table even being spread now somebody shout Lord to it father in the name of the Lord Jesus we ask of you now that you will move with haste in the name of the Lord Jesus father even as we stand in this room and you are shifting you are moving you are breaking up you are pulling down father in the name of Jesus shine your light I hear the Lord say come up high Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, move on behalf of your people. I declare and I decree that you are doing it now. Say, Lord, I receive it. My question today is whose report will you believe? Everybody standing. Ratat sukuta bakante kande de mekushi. Rakata ban sekete mekunda ya. Rababa bakan gwami you can say. Ikama ban sekete mekusha. Rise up, rise up, raise your hands. Ikata ban sukuta bakanda. Rababa ban sekete de mekusha. Yes God, yes God, yes God, yes God, yes God, yes God. Roko vogusha kata bakan sekete de mosaya. Open your mouth in the room. Lift the room in intercession. Sir, come here. Touch him. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Yes. Rata dan sukuta baka. Keep praying, keep praying. Yes, God. Yes, Jesus.
oftentimes the Lord will help me to do some things but even as I began to pray kabaman sokuta bakanze rakababa sokuta bakanze as I was praying the Lord said to tell you in the matter of days you ready for this? <laughs> you sure you ready? A shift is going to happen in your life. I didn't say weeks. It's in the matter of days. Everything is about to shift for your good. Are you hearing me? Is about to shift for your good. Who you come here with? Kabama Kansa Kataman said, Who you came here with? Come, bring them. I need you to continue to pray. Don't spectate, just pray. Don't spectate, just pray. Screams, screams, screams. Rato Sukuta Bakansiki. Just go back for me a little bit. The Lord said to tell you that He's shifting the screams in your favor. What screams is He talking about? Even, yes, Lord, on Friday night, the Lord had me to shift financial screams and to cause greater income to come to people. Tonight, God's going to increase you today, brother. He's going to increase you. Now y'all, I, 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 I apostolic prophet. I don't ask questions. I don't read palm. I am telling you what thus says the Lord. He's shifting your income, and He's bringing it up. It's about to climb. You can put my name on it. Take that to the bank. It's going to happen. Rabash shukuta bakanse kende ni bokusiya. Yes, Lord. Rachaban sokusha kanda yasi kitebe kunda ya. Let's pray for the screams first. Father, in the name of Jesus. And as your hands are stretched towards them, may God do it for you. Father, wherever hold up and blockage is. Father, where it seems to be stagnated. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus God. That you allow the screams to begin to flow. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, as your people are standing before you. Allow your streams to flow through their lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we break and we destroy every kind of worm. Yes, Jesus, and we destroy now the caterpillar. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that every kind of worm that has been eating away their finances, release unto them now the financial streams that they will not be eaten like paycheck to paycheck. But God, you will release unto them that they will experience your greatness even now. In Jesus' name, somebody say, Lord. Do it for them now. I see you in ownership. And I'm seeing this property. Give me a paper. I'm seeing a property. Oh, shut up. Let me show you all detail is this. I see an apartment. Watch this. The apartment has three doors. One, two, and three. The apartment is blue and white. You will own the same apartment. Blue and white. One, two, three. Three doors. That's a what? Triplex? Triplex. Yes, God. Yes, God. Write that down for me. Write it down. Just get the paper, write it on the paper. 
para te ouvir com você agora na cena. Don't settle. Don't settle. Try flex. I prophet lad study with. Roku shut up back and second day was there because you want to go in ownership. Do you have your own home? Where do you live now? No. Somebody say move out. That's not your final place. Rataban sukuta back and second day go push. Who believe God can do it? Why God settle? Why God settle? That's not what y'all want. Am I talking to you? That's what y'all want? <laughs> you get don't step a settle. The grace of one y'all to moon. When the grace of ownership comes. You quickly go, you find things will begin to go like this. It does not stay upon a person, it leaves. And because I saw it upon you today, in the name of Jesus, Father, do it for them quickly. The Lord says, Start looking. Start. Better yet, go drive. Y'all believe God? Jump in your car. I was going to send y'all now, but I have to do this christening. Jump in the car, go to where you want to live, and claim it. The finances will come. That's not your stress, that's not your headache. God is going to do it. But I don't know, when I saw you sit, um, sitting in the back there, that's literally what I began to see. And I see that y'all are settled. I don't know y'all, y'all don't know me. I ain't trying to prove myself, I get time for that. What I want you to understand is you can't settle. You cannot settle. I'm going to put an, uh, the oil on your hands. Give anyone towels in? Give them two towels. Wherever a prophet is, he can prophesy. Rub it together. Can I raise them? Father, in the name of Jesus. You said that we, we get homes we have never built, lands we have never plowed. Father, in the name of Jesus, as they stand before you. Wow. As I'm praying for you, the property plan literally roll over. <laughs> the plans of the property, where this apartment is, literally just roll out front of you you shall receive it in the name of Jesus don't settle may seven streams of income locate you now in the name of the Father and not of the Son and of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name give God a praise give them a doubt what I want you to do write today's day on those towels and I want you Every time you start to look wherever you drive, you take those towels with you. This ain't no witchcraft now. It takes the foolish thing to confound the wise. The reason you're holding the towel is because the towel, the anointing is from off me onto the towel. And you begin to wave that towel and say, Lord, remember your promise. Watch God. God bless you. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Feel the prophet coming up already. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go for the of a prophetic night. We're going to now ask Minister, you can be seated, congregation. We're going to ask Minister Arian and Minister Marcus to come forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all the godparents, you can come forward now in Jesus' name. Now, I know that there was somebody, oh, get Mateo from the back there. He's leading the congregation in the back there. Let's get up there. A simple message to let you know that your salts are about to be converted. Everything that you need 
Is there somebody in here who's a Belize? Any Belize in here? Look on the in, on the live for me. See if any Belize on the live for me, please. Rata Mansuko. There is somebody who's missing. Um. Oh, you can call him. Yeah, you can call him. Ivo Nanta. Anybody else? You can call him. Hey, Mateo. Amen. Y'all enjoy the service? Don't worry. I almost prophesied to you. <laughs> but don't worry. God is good. Got him? All right. It is my great joy to introduce you to these newest members of our church family. Matteo Halbert. How to pronounce the middle name? Hugh. Okay, Huey. There you go. <laughs> is the son of Marcus. So Matteo Halbert is the son of Marcus and Arian Halbert. These parents have come today along with this company of God parents to pledge themselves before God and this congregation to raise this child in the way that honors the Lord. I'm going to say some affirmations and after I read them, I want you to say, we do. Okay? But before we get into that, does any godparent standing here wants to resume? Wants to pull away? Because now I want you all to look at them. So you know who to delete. Yeah. Y'all good? Ready? All right, you ready? Do you today recognize this child as a gift from God and that God gave him to be a blessing unto us? Do you know, do you now dedicate your child to the Lord or child to the Lord who gave them to you all, surrendering all worldly claims upon this child's life and hope to bring him up in the holy oracles of God? Do you pledge as parents and godparents that with God's fatherly help, you will bring up this child in the discipline and instructions of the Lord, making every reasonable effort with patience and love to build the word of God in him and to build the character of Christ and the joy of the Lord within him? Do you promise to provide through God's blessing for physical, somebody say physical, financial, I need to put financial first. Financial, physical, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual needs for this child. No, I need I want to say louder than that. Say we do. Y'all sure? Okay, let me know. I'll pray. Amen. Do you promise God that you will continue to be in Mateo's life regularly as much as you can to offer him assistance in every aspect of his life? Amen. Raise your hands to heaven. Father, in the name of Jesus. First, we recognize the Godparents. We declare in the name of Jesus, their God, that you will grace them to do that which is willing in your sight. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you will give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on how to bring up Mateo. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you will bless them financially and physically and spiritually. That they, oh God, will be able to be perfect, perfect, Lord God, representatives of the kingdom to this child. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you seal them even now for your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. I want you to call your names for me. Alfred Ferguson. Alfred Ferguson. Ian Curry. Jamia Cooper. Victor Forbes. And the parents? Arian Halbert. Marcus Halbert. Amen. So y'all know all the names, right? So we can go after them. No one can them. Amen. Bring me the child. Ratan Sukuta Bakan. He ain't gonna cry, right? No. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, as we bring Marcus Hugh Halbert before you. Father, even as Samuel was dedicated unto your service, Father, we present him back to you. God, we ask in the name of Jesus that you will bless him a thousandfold. Father, cause him to grow in your fear. Father, we declare that your anointing is upon him even now. God, we rebuke every generational curse, sickness, disease, and infirmity away from his life. We declare, dear God, that he will be chosen for his generation. Father, we declare that no weapon that is formed against him shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against him in judgment it shall and will be condemned. Father, we prophesy over his life that he will be one to rise up to give you glory. Rise up to give you praise. Father, cause, Lord God, your fire to increase in his life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to bless him seven times. So I'm going to count to three and you just say bless him seven times. You ready? One, two, three. Say bless him. 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 Bless him.